So that paperwork, uh, you know, those little mess ups, the one thing about submitting it and getting it approved is the paperwork's like in stone. <laughs> uh, so there's mess ups that, that I know we've made that I'll, I'll share or I've seen made, you know, appliances. One of the things that you're marking on appliances or on the form is who's, who's responsible for providing the appliances and who's responsible for paying the utilities. And those will affect your numbers. So it's a small number, but if you're providing the stove and the fridge, you get a few extra bucks on that, that rental approval. Um, and if you're not, then, then you get a little less, but, uh, if you are providing it, when it comes to inspection time, you got to make sure they're there and they're operational. So I see a lot of people, especially they might've rehabbed the unit. Yeah. I'm providing the stove and the fridge, but it's sitting there with the blue plastic covering on it in the middle of the kitchen. It's not hooked up. You'll fail right away for that. Yeah. Um, the other thing about utilities, make sure you get that right. Um, you know, make sure who's paying heat hot on there. It's broken down heat, hot water and, uh, Cooking and, gas. Yeah, cooking gas. So it's important to make sure that you do that right the first time because that all goes in stone. And you can mess with that, but that, that's a pain in the butt having a, to try to back back step that. Um, one yeah, other- right Back to what Tom said, it's it's just time. You know, every time, every, every item that you have to change is time. And then, you know, it, time is money. And, and our experience is sometimes those things get solved in a day. Sometimes it takes 10 days. And it just depending sometimes on the ebbs and flows of CHA and their- priorities and, and, uh, and where you fall into the mix. Um, before we move on here, one other thing I want to, uh, say is, uh, this is a, a stupid problem that's happened in the past with one of my properties where we put down, you didn't put down a unit number, but we put down the wrong unit number. Um, and it was, it was a think about a six flat with the common area, uh, down the middle where you have the two units and sometimes it's a, sometimes it's B, sometimes it's one, a one B we messed up the, we crossed it. The leasing agent crossed it. <laughs> and ultimately they came out to inspect the wrong unit. Um, and then when they got out there, that unit was occupied. So even though it was just a very obvious, like, Hey, this one's rented already. And the one across the hall is not the common sense factor. It had to all start over again. So um, it's very uh, important to make sure you get those details right on the sheet. And I don't know how much help the Tom that uh, I think I gave you kind of our template or cheat sheet or whatever. Uh, maybe that's something that we could provide um, um, in the show notes as far as uh, uh, sharing that. So, 